electricity is getting more and more expensive those days and so people are trying to save it. On the market you can buy a lot of those devices in various sizes and shapes. They promise you to miraculously save 20 or more percent of power just by plugging this in into any socket of your household. So I decided to test it for you. This version comes in a plastic bag without any manual or box and it cost me 3.34 dollars including shipping from China. It says intelligent energy saver, electricity saving box, the result is the best. There are also some technical parameters. It seems to be in Spanish, parameters technicos, modelo is the model number, voltaje it's a voltage, frequencia, carga, carga means load, Aurador de energia spikes. So the voltage is all right. It's like universal voltage and universal frequency. And the load is 30,000 watts. What does it mean? Does it draw 30,000 watts? Or does it inject 30,000 watts into your power socket? So let's test it with my power meter. And if this device can inject some power back into mains, the power meter will show a negative value. No, it doesn't. It actually draws 0.6 watts. And it has LED indicator. It's a very dim LED. A green one. But it doesn't generate any power. It draws some power. But maybe I have to use it together with some load. So let's try this light bulb. It draws 62.5. And now 63.1. 62.5. So it doesn't save any power. With this device it draws even more. So let's try an LED. It draws 13 watts. And now 13.6. Still no power is being saved. And what about a fluorescent lamp? 10.4 11 So it still doesn't save any power. What if I try some inductive load? This is a transformer with a light bulb. It draws 2.2 watts. And now 2.8. Let's try some machine with a motor in it. No, it still makes the power consumption even higher. The current it draws is about 0.2 amps. That's a lot. And it sparks significantly. It suggests a capacitor inside. And can it give you a shock when you unplug it? Ouch! So it seems that if you unplug it very quickly and touch it, it can give you a shock. And it also has a nice yellowish green indicator. But it's probably the only thing it can do. There's time to open it up. But wait, there are no screws in it. I will probably have to use my sophisticated automatic device opener. Or maybe just a screwdriver. And that's it. So there is a board with one LED, four resistors and a fuse. There are no SMD components on it. And there is a magic black box which probably generates free energy. Or maybe not. It has no marking on it. And there is maybe a serious black magic going on. Or it's just a capacitor. 
So let's try to disconnect it and measure it. And it is about 2.9 microfarads. So it's probably just a capacitor in parallel with mains. So let's draw a schematic. So here's the schematic and it's really just a fuse, the capacitor, some resistors and an LED. So the fuse is for safety. This capacitor is in parallel with mains. This is the series resistor of the LED. This is probably the discharging resistor for this capacitor, but it doesn't work very fast, so if you unplug it very quickly and touch it, it can give you a shock. There are also two resistors with a very low value, just 100 ohms, and I'm not sure why do they use them, because they have almost no effect here and they are more or less just jumpers. And it looks almost the same as the other version, which comes in a box. This one was just in a plastic bag. The board is very similar and the schematic is almost the same. But just one LED is omitted here. And the capacitor in this one was only one point 45 microfarads. This one is 2.9 microfarads, so it's twice the value. The idea of this capacitor is that it compensates the inductive loads in your household. But the problem is that a household doesn't usually pay for inductive loads, so it cannot save you any money. And you never know how much inductive load there is, so connecting just one random capacitor doesn't help anything. So the conclusion is that this device doesn't save you anything. And it's also definitely not intelligent, it's just a silly capacitor. But you can buy it for this nice box, which can be useful in some project. But be careful because mains voltage is dangerous. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.